are diagnosed with colorectal cancer. It is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. But now more younger people are being diagnosed with the disease. So we want to talk about that and what you can do about it. Dr. Amit Aravapali is a gastroenterologist with Tryon Medical Partners. Welcome to QC at 3. Doc, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. It's good to see you. Full disclosure, you are my gastroenterologist. So, That's right. Um, so let's talk about this a little bit. I remember the last time I was at my primary care doctor's office at Tryon Med, she was saying, we're seeing more and more people at younger ages that are being diagnosed with colon cancers and colon issues. Tell me a little bit about that and what may be contributing to that. Yeah, that's right, Kristen. So we've seen an increased incidence of colon cancer in patients less than 50 years of age. Unfortunately, we don't quite understand the reasons for that, but it is occurring. So in May of 2021, the United States Preventative Services and Task Force changed the age to start colon cancer screening for average risk individuals from 50 to 45 because of the increased incidence of colon cancer that we're finding in patients less than 50. So we don't quite understand all the reasons for why people are developing colon cancer before age 50, but they are occurring. Secondly, during the pandemic, a lot of people are delaying preventative care and not seeing their doctor and not getting their colonoscopy. Therefore, we're unfortunately finding colon cancer at later stages, which is therefore difficult to treat. Yeah, and, and I know folks really need to call their insurance companies because I know some insurance companies still aren't on board yet with those new uh, standards and ages. Um, but for those who are and can go in and get those colonoscopies earlier than that age 50, um, what, are, what, are, what can you find during a colonoscopy that could prevent a cancer diagnosis down the road? Sure. So during a colonoscopy, you know, we're basically looking for polyps, which are these small growths in the colon. So you don't have any symptoms from polyps, so it's not like you feel symptoms from these. So during the colonoscopy, we, we hunt these polyps down and we remove them because if the polyps are not removed, they have the chance to grow. And once they get very large, they can transform into colon cancer. So preventable colon cancer. I mean, if you're getting your screenings in a, you know, in a regular clip when you're supposed to be getting them at the age you're supposed to be getting them, this really is an avoidable disease in a lot of cases, not every case. That's exactly right. This is one of the few cancers you can prevent. So please get your colonoscopy. Tell me just really quickly before we run out of time, the one thing that you hear people say all of the time is that the prep for a colonoscopy is worse than the actual colonoscopy. Is that prep getting any easier, any better um, than it has been maybe a few years ago? Yes, they, there are some lower volume preps and there are actually some, some pill preps on the market now. But you're right, the prep is the hardest part. But once you know, you've completed the prep, you're pretty much just coming in to take a nice nap and then we take care of the rest. A nice nap. I like that. Well, um, look, I, it's so important that people listen to their doctors, do what they should be doing, when they should be doing it, and so we can all stay healthy. Doctor, good to see you. I'll see you in a few weeks, okay? Thank you. See you soon. <laughs> all right. There's all the information for Try on Med right there on your screen. You can follow them on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as well. Thanks, doctor. We'll see you. Cheryl, over to you. See you soon.